Hi there, welcome to the OneSignal time operators demo. Uh, in this video, we're gonna look at how you can use time-based triggers to send push notifications uh, to your users. It's a very powerful and very easy tool to set up, so let's just dive right in. Uh, here I am in the OneSignal dashboard on the Users tab. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a segment using these different filters. Uh, the first filter is the first session. This is the first date and time the user's device has communicated with the OneSignal servers. Uh, you can think of this as the first time a user subscribes to your website or mobile app. Uh, the other filter we provide is the last session. Uh, this is the most recent date or time the user's device has communicated with the OneSignal servers. So you can think of this one as the most recent time, uh, date and time a subscriber has visited your website or mobile app. Um, all you gotta do is select the filter, specify uh, the operator less than or greater than, and then the amount of hours you want to track. So for this example, I want to uh, set up a segment to target all users that were uh, the first subscribed to my website in the past 24 hours. Uh, I can change the hours, I can change the uh, operator, uh, and OneSignal will tell you how many uh, subscribed users um, fit that filter. Uh, you can also do this with last session, it works the same way. So if I want to target all users that were, uh, all subscribers that were last active on my website in the past 24 hours, I just simply um, specify less than and 24, and then one signal will tell me how many subscribers fit that filter. Uh, there, very easy. Uh, we actually provide this for you by default as the active users and inactive. Uh, so active users are just users where their last session on the site was within one week, and inactive users were uh, subscribers that were last active on your site in over one week. Um, both of these filters are available on our free plan, so you can actually go ahead and start using them uh, as long as you're subscribing users properly. Um, but where it gets interesting is on our paid plan, uh, we provide a way to track how long a tag has been added to a user. So the way that works is you would uh, create a segment, and I have done so already here, um, where you specify the user tag filter, uh, the tag key you want to track, um, you specify the operator as less than or greater than, and then the amount of seconds that have passed since that tag was added, so in this case, 30. So you can read this as I, a segment based on the user tag button press, and that tag has been added less than 30 seconds ago. Now I've done this for less than 30 seconds, and I've also done this for greater than 30 seconds. So the way to add users to this type of segment is to uh, use the OneSignal SDK or API uh, to tag the user. In this case, I'm gonna use the send tag method. Uh, each OneSignal SDK has a send tag or send tags method where you can um, add a key, uh, key value pair of data to your subscribed user. Uh, in this case, I have the button press key and then a Unix timestamp, which I just specified here. Um, it's important to know that segments are only subscribed users, so I must subscribe to the site. Here I am subscribed. And the way that I have this set up is once I click this button, I will uh, tag myself or tag the user with this key value pair. You can think of this as like an abandoned cart. So for example, if I'm on your e-commerce site and I want to add this item uh, to my cart, I usually click a button. You can call this method, and here I have it logged that it's been added. Uh, go into the one signal dashboard and refresh the page, and there you go. My device record has been added to this segment. We can take a look, just double check, here's my device. Uh, button press tag with the, key, with the uh, Unix timestamp value. And there you go. It's been less than 30 seconds since I've been tagged, so my device is in this segment. Um, once 30 seconds has passed, my uh, device record is gonna jump from this segment into this segment. So I can actually just refresh the page since it's been 30 seconds, and there you go. Uh, I am now in this segment. So you can see that this can be a very powerful tool if you wanted to track uh, how long it's been uh, since a tag was added. This is great for like abandoned cart, for event trigger notifications. Uh, you could combine this with the OneSignal automated messages uh, feature. So you can actually automatically send out notifications to users once they join this segment. 
Uh, we'll look into automated messages in a different video. Um, yep, that's, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. My name is John. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to look at our documentation or reach out to us on our support channel. Uh, thanks for watching and have a good one.